Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, I will uh, quickly recap uh, coordinates. I'll quickly go over the uh, uh, coordinates and then uh, we'll look at drawing linear graphs. Now, um, you should already know what coordinates are and how they are represented. So the coordinates are written in the form x, y uh, in parentheses. So you've got x, y. So remember it's x followed by y in alphabetical order. So x is the horizontal value and the y is uh, the uh, vertical value that you read from the grid. Uh, so um, quick exercise here, you can pause the video and see if you can uh, quickly plot these points. Um, so what uh, I would like you to do is uh, just quickly identify these points. So the first one, um, it's uh, 3, so 3 is the x value, so trace 3 through 3 across and then 4 so that's where the point is. So that point is uh, 3, comma 4, point A. Likewise, um, B is negative uh, 2. So we go negative means we're going on the other side of the origin. And then uh, 5 up. And that's the point. And that's point B. Pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, likewise, we can do the third one. So uh, negative one and then three down and that's point c and the last one we've got uh, four across and two down and that's where point d is so you can see how easy it is to plot these points now you need to know this in order for you to uh, uh, draw linear graphs because you will need to um, be able to plot the points that are given by the function that you're trying to draw Right, so plotting linear graph. Um, so the two methods there that uh, you can use. So I'll show you both the methods. You decide uh, which one's easier for you. Uh, so the first one is uh, using table of values. As you can see, I've already got um, a table uh, constructed for this one. So the example says uh, draw the graph for uh, y equals to uh, 2x take away 5. You just need to know. Uh, um, 2x means twice x, so 2 times x, and then take away 5. So you just need to pre-select your x values. Um, uh, in the actual assessment, you can use the values uh, that are on the uh, uh, grid that's already provided for you So uh, uh, to mimic the scenario that's there. So what I'll do here is um, x values are pre-selected, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I will need to substitute these values in the equation that's given so this function here and then work out the corresponding y values and these then become the uh, coordinates points that I will need to plot so the first one is uh, 2 times 1 so 2 times 1 is uh, 2 take away 5 is minus 3 Likewise, we'll do 2 times 2 because x value here is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 take away 5 is negative 1. Then we go on to the next one. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 take away 5 is 1. So you can see there is a linear pattern there. So it will uh, either increase or decrease by a constant amount and that will be the gradient value in this case and then we go to uh, the next one four times two is eight eight take away five is three or you would have guessed it it keeps going up by the gradient value that's another way of checking it so it will go up by two so one up two is three and then uh, he next one is five times two is ten ten take away five is uh, 5 or I would have just called 3 plus 2 5 so e either way it works so what you just need to do is uh, please use the calculators carefully uh, try and uh, work out the corresponding y values now what we will do next is we'll try and uh, plot these on the Cartesian plane that's given there so I've already worked out the um, uh, corresponding y values using the function that's given so we will now plot those so one with negative 3 so that's the point there likewise i'll look at the second one two negative one make sure you read x first then y and then three one so three and then one up four so four across and then three up 
and then five five what you then need to do is just grab a ruler and join these points and extend those uh, lines so there you have it so it's pretty straightforward so what you need to do is uh, first things first try and uh, use the equation to uh, fill in the table of values get the y values uh, and then you plot those and uh, use a ruler to join them uh, creating a straight line hope that helps so we'll look at the um, next method which is the gradient intercept method uh, some of you may find this a little bit um, um, harder but i reckon uh, uh, you uh, just need to um, uh, use either of the two methods whichever you are comfortable with and uh, just stick to that uh, to um, uh, draw the graph uh, but uh, nonetheless some of you may find this interesting so gradient intercept method uh, this is another method for uh, drawing linear graphs. So what you need to know is uh, that the general form for linear equation is uh, in the form y equals to mx plus c. And I'm sure you guys have uh, uh, seen this uh, before. So what this means is uh, you already know gradient uh, value is uh, the m there, which is the coefficient of x and uh, c is the y-intercept uh, what uh, y-intercept represents is the uh, place where the uh, uh, straight line will cross the y-axis when the value of x is zero um, so I, um, it says find where it cuts the y-axis so this is um, where it is cutting the y-axis when x is zero so y value is c and uh, from there you plot the lines uh, using the gradient value that is given so be mindful of the fact that uh, gradient can be negative as well so in that case uh, instead of rise it will be a drop so just have to use that so let's have a look at the uh, first example here it says y is equal to 3x minus 2 of course uh, you can use the table method that i've given uh, um, earlier but i'm just going to use uh, the um, gradient intercept method for this one um, so you got the um, grid there so what i'm looking for is first things first identify the y intercept so this is the y intercept value here we know it's negative two so i will plot that negative two so that's the y intercept make sure you know that it's the y intercept so it has to go on the y axis so y intercept is negative two and then the gradient value is three now what this means is we already know that gradient is given by rise over run now to get the gradient value of three if i want to write this as a fraction three is same as three divided by one so three is the rise value and run value will be one so uh, that's what we will use so we will uh, use the value for y intercept and they will go three steps up and then one step across and it's a positive gradient that's why i've gone up so rise over run so run across and that's where the second point is and then using that point i will go three up and then one across and then i'll get my other point and then what you need to do is just try and uh, use a ruler to join those uh, three points there and then extend the line so that's the graph they're pretty straightforward if you understand what uh, the um, equation uh, uh, what gradient means so in other words uh, three needs to be um, uh, written as a fraction three over one so three up and one across and likewise so i'll trace that point and then start from the uh, go to the next one grab a ruler join those three points and then you get the straight line graph so this is pretty quick and easy way of getting the uh, gradient and getting the graph by the way uh, uh, or uh, you can uh, fill in the table and uh, get that done from there um, next example here so be careful here it says negative two thing so uh, let's try and do this one using this method so first things first you need to identify the y intercept so y intercept here is positive one and the gradient of course is negative two thirds so what i'll do is i'll quickly mark point um, um, the y intercept as uh, one and then we'll start tracing now in this case it's negative two so that means it has to go two steps down 
and three across so just be careful with it so two down because it's negative two and then three across to get two thirds um a rise over run so run value is three so we've got that point there and then we'll uh, do one more so if guy down twice three across and i've got those three points remember two points is enough to draw a straight line graph and then uh, we connect those uh, points draw a straight line passing through those points and there you have it you've got the uh, graph drawn pretty easily i will say so that's pretty straightforward um, you could have already done this uh, using the uh, uh, table of values method uh, but i reckon this is uh, another way of uh, getting the same result please pause the video and try and uh, draw these graphs you can choose either of those two methods uh, as long as you get the right graph um, uh, that's what matters now let's uh, see the results there so i've got those graphs here please pause the video and see if your answers match with these ones here parallel lines uh, if the uh, uh, lines have the same gradient that means if the rate of change is same then those lines are parallel so you can see each of these lines are sloping in a similar fashion so they have got the same value for the gradient so in other words the rate of change is same for each of these lines uh, so in real life situation they will never uh, cross or they will never intersect uh, so none of these lines will intersect because they have got the same gradient uh, thank you very much guys um, i'll see you in the next video